G'day and welcome to another episode of Python for LEGO Robotics. Today we're going to learn how to square your robot up onto a line. Now in a robotics competition like FLL or WRO, being able to navigate your robot accurately is just as important as being able to mechanically solve a mission. After all, you can only solve a mission if you can actually travel there in the first place. Now, when you are navigating, there are two main concerns. The first one is uh, the position of the robot, and the second one is the heading of your robot. Now, the position of your robot is where on the map you want your robot to end up, while the heading of your robot is the angle in which it is facing. Now getting both of these correct and accurate will help your robot succeed in completing its mission. Now line squaring is one of those things that help with the latter. Now you'll notice that a lot of robots that are in competition will have these two color sensors pointing towards the ground just like this. Now color sensors are essential for uh, helping robots accurately navigate throughout the field. Uh, they can also help the robot follow lines or keep track of details on the ground so that they can uh, then respond accordingly. For example, a color sensor can be designed to track a black line on the ground. And if the robot starts moving away from the black line, then the sensor will be able to detect it and uh, change the speed of the motors so that the robot can search for the line again. If you haven't already, I highly recommend watching my advanced line following tutorial up over here uh, if you want to learn how to follow a line. While you can follow a line with one color sensor, uh, you'll need a second color sensor in order to square a robot onto a line. Now why would you want to square a robot onto a line? Well, squaring onto a line means that you make your robot line up 90 degrees or perpendicularly to a line. And squaring onto a line is a very powerful way to position your robot because not only are you controlling um, where your robot is on the map, it's also controlling the heading, the angle in which it is facing. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Spike Prime with one extra color sensor taken from the Spike Prime expansion set. However, you can do the same build with the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor uh, and a second color sensor. Here's what we're trying to do. We're going to write a Python function that tells our robot to move forward and wait until either one of our color sensors detect a line. If the left sensor detects a line, then the left motor will stop and the right motor will continue moving until the right motor also detects the line and then the robot will stop completely and it will square up against the line. The same will happen if the robot comes from the opposite angle. If the right sensor detects the line first, then the right motor will stop and then wait until the left sensor also detects the line. Now I spend a lot of time making coding videos just like these. So if you find it interesting, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making coding videos. So I thank you in advance. Let's start coding. So let's load up our Spike software. Like I said, you can use the um, uh, Lego Mindstorms Robot Inventor if you like. And uh, if you haven't already, you build driving base three. So you click on the build button and then you build driving base 3. Now driving base 3 has a color sensor attached. You have to build it so that you also have a second color sensor attached on the left arm right here. So uh, all the instructions are exactly the same except you repeat it so that you don't only just have uh, one color sensor on the left side or on the right side, you also add one onto the left side. Okay. After you have finished building your uh, robot, start a new project. I'm going to call this um, Python line squaring. And then make sure it is a Python project. Hit create. And now I will zoom in so that everyone can see it a little bit clearer. 
All right, first thing we're going to do is very similar to all the other tutorials we've done. So we need to define our materials. So here we have our hub. Afterwards, we're going to name our wheels equals motor pair. Uh, we'll have it C and D. Uh, we also need to name our left and right color sensors. So left sensor equals color sensor. I put mine at A. Uh, make sure that you get, get your port numbers, uh, port letters correct as well. Right sensor equals color sensor port B. Okay. And then we're going to define our first function here. So we're going to go uh, and call this sensed color. And sense color is what we're going to use to say that yes, we have detected a color, um, uh, uh, whatever color your line is, uh, on the left sensor or the right sensor. So here, sense color, I'm going to return left sensor dot get color. And then the line color that I am detecting is going to be red. But if you're looking for a black line, then you change it to black or whatever color that you're looking for. Equals red or right sensor dot get color is equal to red. Okay. So I know that my head might be covering it a little bit. Just move it out of the way a little bit. Over there and I'm going to have the code in a github link in the description as well so uh, if you can't get it working uh, following the instructions then um, you can download the github link but I'll walk you through the code so that you understand the code uh, so that you know uh, it's not going to uh, confuse you in any way so that's our first function our second function is going to have one argument. This argument is going to be speed because you might want to approach your line uh, slowly just to make sure that you are actually uh, carefully detecting the colors on the ground or you might want to approach a little bit quicker if you um, need to do it a little bit quickly. But the quicker you move your robot, the less accurate your line squaring is going to be. Wheels.start so we start at a, a um, steering level of zero and then make speed our speed. If you need help with any of your uh, functions, make sure you check out the knowledge base. So uh, motor pair wheels, uh, I mean motor pair start uh, is going to show you uh, all the functionality of that function. Okay. And then we're going to use a spike helper function called wait until. So wait until sensed color. Now sense color, you'll notice that um, uh, is the one that we have just written. So once we have sensed any color, it's going to return a true value. Uh, and then it's going to um, uh, move on to the next block of code. If left sensor.get color is equal to red. So we're going to handle the left side first. If the left sensor detects the line, then we stop the left motor and then move the right motor until the right side also detects the line. So here, if left sensor uh, is detecting the line, we'll start, start tank. Uh, and then here, we're going to put negative five speed. Why negative 5? So here's the thing. If I uh, stop the motor uh, when I've detected it on the left hand side, so if I'm if I'm uh, moving my robot up and then I've detected the my line and then I stop the left motor uh, and then I keep it still, um, there is going to be a uh, an error uh, and that is because the sensor is slightly offset from your uh, your motor. It is not the exact spot where you're supposed to be pivoting your robot. So 
the negative five is just the measurement to compensate for that uh, difference in angle. Now, different robots that are built differently and the, di the sensors, uh, if they're positioned really far away from the wheel, then you're going to need to tweak that number to, uh, to adjust for that pivot. Uh, uh, so definitely experiment with that. So I'm using negative five. If you're building driving base three, uh, then negative five should be the correct value to adjust for that difference in that pivot point. Uh, but if you have built a different robot, then make sure you uh, check out those values. Here, let's have a look and continue. So our left motor stop, um, well stopped and moving backwards slightly. And then our right motor continues. And then we go wait until the right sensor also gets our color. So right sensor dot get color equal to red. All right, so uh, here's something that I almost forgot. So equal to is by default not added in our import library. So to in order to get equal to the, um, the, the spike um, equal to helper. You go up to the top here and then you type in a new import. So from spike dot operator import equal to. Okay. After that, we simply stop all the wheels. Whoops. Okay, and then we do an if uh, else statement for the right sensor. Okay, same thing. Uh, else wheels dot start tank, and then we're going to go speed negative five because we're now stopping the right motor from moving and then continuing moving with our left motor. Then we go wait until left sensor dot get color comma equal to comma red and like I said with I'm detecting a red line for my robot but for your robot it will be um, different if it's looking for a different colored line okay and then wheels dot stop okay now, if you have done this uh, correctly, then all you have to do now when you need to have your robot line up against a line is to run the function. So we go line square and then the speed in which you want to travel. I'm going to travel at 10% speed because I don't want to go too quickly to uh, overshoot the line. Whoops, there's a slight typo here. All right, so now that should work. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, More Educational. Ever since Creator Academy started making LEGO education videos, we have been greatly supported by the experts at More Educational. They're an authorized partner of LEGO Education with over 20 years experience uh, working on LEGO Education products. So if you're in Australia and you want to buy genuine LEGO Education products like the ones shown in this video, then make sure you check out the More Educational website. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.